Welcome everyone to the Derpzilla channel. Today, a very quick video where I will be upgrading from a single outlet plug to a dual outlet plug underneath my kitchen sink. Let's go ahead and get this thing done. Here is a closer look of the single outlet next to the dual outlet, which I will be upgrading to here shortly. Now, if we flip these over, you can expect typically three terminals on the single outlet and five terminals on the dual outlet. If we look at the single outlet here, the green screw is typically for your ground. So you'll actually hook your ground wire to the green terminal. Same thing with the dual outlet. And then with the single outlet, we're gonna have a brass terminal and you're gonna have a silver terminal. Brass typically will be hot, which often will be a black wire, sometimes red. And then the silver will be the neutral, which is often white or gray. Uh, do make sure to verify that with your wiring and the instructions of your specific outlet. But uh, very simple with a lot of these, you're gonna actually push in the screw that opens up the little hole here. Sorry if it doesn't uh, focus very well. You actually then push in the appropriate wire into the hole and then you're gonna to want to tighten up the screw until it's nice and firmly grasped within that terminal and doesn't just pop right on out. Now we're gonna be removing this single outlet from my home underneath my sink to make room for a dual outlet right here, this exact one, which will then allow me to install a water filtration system underneath my sink. Unfortunately, the uh, single outlet underneath my sink currently is being utilized by the dishwasher. And so I need to go with the dual outlet to uh, make sure I have function for the UV light of my water filtration system, as well as my dishwasher. Now do make sure you don't uh, exceed the amperage of your breaker in your breaker box and you get the appropriate size outlet to handle your workload. Now, same setup with the dual outlet, except now there's two of them. So you have two silvers and you have two of the brass. These are line connected between each other. And of course you still have a single ground. Now, if we look at the instructions here, your home may be wired slightly differently. You can have two or three wire entering the box, or you can have a four or six. I believe mine is the two or three wire setup because I am coming to and from a single outlet to a dual outlet. So it's very simple. You're actually going to just wire it up to a single set and it actually will proceed to the other outlet just fine. So you're gonna to want to take your hot wire and go to the brass looking terminal. And you're gonna to want to go with your neutral wire to the silver terminal and of course your ground. Now, if you have the uh, four or six wire set up, you're gonna do the same thing, except you're gonna run both of your hots, one to each one, and both of your uh, neutrals, and then the single ground. Very simple. And uh, let's go ahead and get underneath the sink and get this thing swapped out in place of the now defunct single outlet. Here we are underneath my kitchen sink. And as you can see, here is the single outlet that I'm getting ready to replace. This outlet does power my dishwasher. Make sure you turn off the breaker. Now that the breaker has been turned off, we can verify that uh, via an outlet tester, or if you happen to have a multimeter like I do, you go ahead and put it in volts AC, and we can test to see if we have power to our lid. So you're gonna put the black into the ground, which is the bottom, circular post, and we're gonna put the hot lead into one of the positive terminals, and then we're gonna check the multimeter, and it's telling me there is no power. It would read about a 120 if it was still powered, and this is telling us that it is not power. So we have it turned off the correct breaker. You don't want to accidentally turn off a breaker that may be mislabeled and then get a nasty, nasty surprise when you go ahead and take this apart. Very simple to disassemble one of these outlets. For me, it's two flatheads that will remove this outer uh, little cover, and that will give us access to the screws to pull out the actual outlet. We now have access to the two screws behind the cover plate. We have one at the top, one at the bottom here. We're gonna go ahead and remove these two screws. We can then pull the outlet out away from the, uh, the box here and gain access to these wires that we need to then remove from the outlet so we can get the double outlet in here in its place. 
kind of ignore the shoddy workmanship of cutting out <laughs> this area right here. This is uh, a newer home build, and unfortunately, unless you're paying millions of dollars, or even sometimes when you do so, you get some kind of work that looks like that. pulled out the outlet and as you can see one of these cables just popped right out it wasn't even tightened in very well um, thankfully it was still held in place I guess just by the outlet being pushed into the box here uh, but I wanted to note that it did come from the silver mark terminal so that will be our neutral and also you can tell kind of intercladded with the uh, gray wiring it is a white wire just with an outer sheath so this is the neutral and that would make this one which you can see here is black as our hot. And then of course our ground up here. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these terminals, remove these last two wires, and then we can get this out of the way and then line up and wire up our dual outlet. outlet is removed and I don't know if you noticed uh, as I was removing the outlet from the the, uh, the box one of these the bottom screw was like 10 feet long and crooked it took me forever to get this thing unscrewed because typically like the top the screw is about this long so I'm not sure why they used that super long screw if it was just scrap when they put this in together as you can see I mean look how pretty nasty this is and also notice this is a three wire so we're only going to be connecting to uh, two of the terminals and then the ground and of course if you had six you would then or five you would either run dual grounds to the ground and then uh, one you know two to neutral two to hot but being this is a three we're going to actually just use the top portion and then depending on how you want to orientate your outlet some people like to have the ground on the top in case something falls on it but since I'm underneath the sink and my connectors actually would hang downwards. I don't want to put any tension on the cord by having it plugged in this way to possibly unplug it. So we're gonna plug it in just like the one up here, which you probably can't actually see. And uh, so our ground's right here on the bottom. So the ground will go in here and it just slides in this slot right here. We'll tighten it up. And then we're gonna go with the neutral, the white one right here into the silver terminal here. And then we're gonna go with the black hot into the brass terminal. The wires are connected to the terminals and tightened down. Give everything a quick you know, pull, make sure it doesn't easily pop loose. Like when I removed the single outlet where one wire just pretty much just popped loose with no pressure whatsoever. And uh, a little trick with some of these, often if you can't get the wire in the little slot for it, you can push the actual screw in. That opens up the hole. You can fit the wire back in here in the hole and then you can go ahead and tighten it up. Um, so now you want to just kind of tuck your wires so they don't interfere with anything and then get the box placed in there and line up the holes to mount it to the, uh, the box right there, electrical box. And then uh, we can go ahead and see if this thing is functional or not. Outlet is mounted to the box here. Uh, I don't have the plate on yet, but I figure now is a good time to do a quick test. Before I do put the trim piece on, go ahead and turn on your breaker. So for your outlet, for me, this is the dishwasher breaker. We'll go ahead and flick this thing on. Make sure it doesn't quickly re-trip. Uh, normally if that happens, something is significantly wrong. And as you can see, it does not trip. And we can go ahead and get this thing tested out real quick. This outlet is a GFCI outlet. And if you're not familiar with that, uh, the GFCI outlet, in the event of like a ground fault, will trip quickly. 
and cut off electricity, prevents uh, any kind of uh, shock or anything like that. So usually good in bathrooms and uh, you know places like that. I figured since I'm putting a water filtration system in here and there's a lot of water, I figured I'd just go ahead and go with the GFCI. Only if, you know a few cents more expensive and uh, you know a little extra safety. Now with this outlet, since it is a GFCI outlet, initially I have to then go ahead and set the reset. And as you can see, I clicked down, it stayed clicked and the green light lit up telling me that everything is enabled. Now, because this does have kind of like a safety flaps inside the outlet, it's hard to test with my multimeter. So I actually have an old um, surge protector that lights up when it has electricity. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug that in instead of something important, blowing them up like my dishwasher. I'm gonna plug in the surge protector. We're gonna see if it lights up on both of the outlets to tell me that I'm getting electricity as I should. Here's my old crusty surge protector and it has a power light on when it's got power. And we'll go ahead and plug this thing in see if it lights up a little hard to see with the light on but now you can see it is lit up golf and then i'm going to try the other plug lights up so both outlets are getting the 120 volt power as they should now that everything has been tested to be good, I can go ahead and mount the trim plate on. This trim plate is a little bit different than the single outlet that I had just removed. That one just had those two screws holding everything in place. You remove that and the trim came off. This one has a super fancy little uh, mounting bracket. So this actually attaches just like the old trim plate that had came off. And then the trim itself will snap onto this. And then you won't actually see any screws uh, around the outlet itself, just like that outlet up there. I don't know if you can kind of see it, but there's no outside trim screws. It makes it for a cleaner look. I actually kind of like that. It is kind of a pain to remove the trim once it's on there, but you know, it does look much nicer. I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed. Now that the bracket is mounted, I can go ahead and snap in this exterior trim piece and it should just clip in. Wow, look at that. That's smooth looking. No exposed screws, so it looks great. And really, that is the installation. As you saw, it is quite simple and easy to convert from a single outlet to a dual outlet like this one. Uh, really the hardest part of this whole installation was crawling underneath my sink with zero flexibility and zero room to move around in. But this one was actually much easier than the one I have up here, which was even harder to access. Now uh, I go ahead and, and we'll plug in my dishwasher on the bottom slot here and my new fancy coming soon seven stage or 500 stage water filtration system with uv lighting that can actually utilize this new opened up uh, top outlet and then i can proceed forward with my water filtration system so stay tuned for that video it should be coming very soon thanks for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful if you did so feel free to like the video leave a comment if you have any questions or anything you can point out that maybe i can do better always looking to improve Feel free to subscribe to the channel, check out my old videos, and also stay tuned for some upcoming videos. As mentioned, I do have the water filtration system installation coming soon. Really depends on how much time I have and when I get around to installing it, but I'm hoping over the next few days. So as always, have a good one and catch you guys on the next one. Peace.